Morning. You will not actually learn anything from this video. Salutations! I'm Nedry Flanderbottom, but you can just call me Ned. And welcome to another installment of the hit series, Education with Ned. Have you ever looked up to the stars and wondered, hmm, I wonder what's going on up there? Well, you're looking into space, and Earth is just a very minuscule speck of dust in our ever-expanding universe. Today, with the help of my friends, my goal is to educate you on the very interesting topic that is... Space. The solar system. First, let's start small. Our two space explorers are about to leave Earth and head into space now, and their first destination is our solar system. What am I supposed to be doing here, man? Ah, oh, please tell me you guys read the script this time. I don't read. And I can't read. Okay, we're already off to a bad start. I don't know why I chose those two to be the leads. You boys just have to get onto the spaceship. So stupid. I don't see any spaceship. I just see a big green wall behind me. Uh, that's called a green screen? I'll add the spaceship later. Just pretend you see a spaceship and get on board. Oh, okay. Wow, this is a cool spaceship. Oh, can we make it the Millennium Falcon? If it will get you to shut up and do the video, then sure. Yay! Okay, now that our two space explorers finally boarded their spaceship, it's time to leave Earth and head into the great unknown. I've never been to space before, Richard. Have you? Once, on a crazy Saturday. After traveling for 93 million miles, they're about to reach their first destination. Wow! It's Earth! That's not Earth, you dummy. That's the sun. Correct, Richard. The sun is the center of our solar system. It's a giant ball of fire, just like all the other stars in the universe. Wait, the sun is a star? How is it so big? It's actually small in comparison to some of the other stars. This one just looks big because it's the closest one to Earth. It's beautiful. How are you able to stare at it without your eyes catching on fire? Oh, they are. Moving on, next up on our intergalactic space travel is... Earth! That's not Earth either. That's Mercury. Wow, Richard, you know your space. Yeah, it excites me, I guess. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It's only a tiny bit bigger than our moon. Its surface is also pretty similar to the moon. So if it looks like the moon, why don't they just call it moon two? Because it's not a moon, it's a planet. A planet? Are there aliens on the planet? No. Yes. Wow, I want to see. No! You're navigating out of the solar system! We're going into the great unknown! Now this is awesome! Oh jeez! Sorry, I intended for the solar system portion of this video to be about an hour long, but the kid seems to have other ideas. We're flying really <laughs> fast! Basically, the solar system is made up of eight planets. Mercury. Wow. Venus. Beautiful. Earth. Earth. Mars. Cool. Saturn. Wow, look at those rings. Jupiter. Amazing. Uranus. Wow. And <gasps> Neptune. It's so blue. Huh. How did you guys get here so fast? I thought I still had like an hour to prepare my lines. The kid took control of the spaceship. And I'm just along for the ride. Who are you? I'm, uh, uh... Billy, tell them who you are. I didn't have time to memorize my lines. I I'm sorry. You're the gatekeeper at the end of our solar system. Does no one read my scripts? Oh, right. Sorry. I'm the gatekeeper. And if you wish to leave our solar system, you have to tell me three things that you learned about space so far. Well, I didn't learn anything. What? I just explained so much. Well, I forgot everything. I got this, little bro. 
The sun is a big ball of gas, Mercury looks like our moon and it's about the same size, and there's eight planets in our solar system. Wow! That was actually pretty good, Richard! You may pass, but be warned, our universe is ever expanding, and you never know what dangers may be lurking around every corner. But have fun! See ya! The Milky Way Galaxy. What's that big swirly thing? That's the Milky Way Galaxy. Candy! I knew he'd say that. No, it's not a candy bar, it's a galaxy. I really want to go there, it looks so shiny! Technically, you've already been there. That's where all humans live. Wow, so that's Earth. Can I smack him? No, Earth is just one of millions of planets in the Milky Way galaxy. I thought there were only eight planets. Now you're saying there's a million? I am just so confused. Dude, our solar system is like one tiny little part of the Milky Way galaxy. There's like a million other solar systems in the Milky Way galaxy. Does that make sense to you, little dude? Nope. I don't understand any of that. <gasps> Why did you pick him to be in this video again? I don't know. He has tons of fans on the internet. Can we move to another part of space? I want to see an alien. At this moment, no physical evidence of extraterrestrial beings have been made public. Oh no, aliens are real. We don't know that, Richard, so don't put any ideas into that little boy's head. Here, I'll take you to some. No, you're ruining my plans, Richard! Oh, we're missing so much! Trust me, no one wanted to see what you had planned anyway. It was probably so boring. The Virgo Supercluster. Well, now Richard is heading out of the Milky Way galaxy and headed towards the Virgo Supercluster, which is made up of about a hundred galaxies. We're here. Where are we exactly? It's my favorite planet in the Andromeda galaxy, which is the galaxy next to the Milky Way galaxy. Let's get off the ship and explore. Okay. No, don't get off of the ship. We have so much more to explore. I've never been to another planet before! Yeah, man. No one really has. Ah! Oh! Hey, fellas! Sorry, Evan let the aliens out of their cage again! Oh, right, sure. Blame me! They were locked away in a cage, and you thought it would be funny to open the door. <laughs> it was funny. To me. It ain't funny! These aliens eat human skin! Oh. You fellas might want to get off this planet. Things are about to get nasty. I want to stay on this planet forever and ever! I'm so tired of hearing that nerd's voice! Yeah, me too. The faster we explore space, the faster we get to go home. I just wanted to prove to you that aliens do exist. I can't wait to tell all my friends at school what I learned today! Welcome back. Did you have fun? Yeah, we did, Ned, but I'm ready to go home. Can we uh, wrap this up? Yeah, I've never been this far away from home before. But guys, I still have like 12 hours of information left for my viewers. Well, you're going to need another astronaut because I am not doing 12 more hours of this. <sighs> Fine, let's head to the very edge of space. The Cosmic Microwave Background. Wow, it's so pretty! This is the cosmic microwave background. It's the remnants from the Big Bang. How is that even possible, dude? Wasn't that like a trillion years ago? Even longer than that! And what you're seeing is actually light from billions of years ago from when our universe was still expanding. What happens when it stops expanding? No one really knows, but the theory is that once our universe expands too far, it's going to start contracting back until it's nothing but a small little ball of energy, and then the Big Bang will repeat itself. That sounds really scary. Well, if that theory is true, we still have a couple trillions of years before that even comes close to affecting Earth. Wait, so we only have a few more trillion years to live? That's not enough time! You won't be alive by then, so don't worry, little man. <laughs> Hold on! So I'm not gonna live forever? Of course you won't! 
But that's an entirely different video. Space is so scary. I want to go home. <laughs> Me too, little dude. Wait, but I wasn't done explaining the cosmic microwave background. The only microwave that I care about is the one in my house, which is about to have a hot pocket in it. <sighs> well, folks, sorry for being rushed, but I hope you somehow learned something new about space. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to learn next on Education with Ned. I can't believe I only have a few more trillion years to live. <sighs> I need to find new leads.